In database 19C, we introduce a lot of great new features for .NET developers. One of the key ones is .NET Core support. .NET Core support comes through Oracle Data Provider for .NET Core, which is the new provider that supports .NET Core running on Oracle Linux, Windows, Red Hat Linux. So you have a choice of many different provider, many different platforms to run ODP.NET Core in. Another great innovation we've introduced is Entity Framework Core support. Entity Framework Core is a Microsoft Object Relational Mapper. It allows you to take your business objects you build in .NET and map them to your schema objects in the Oracle database. So what we allow is for Entity Framework Core to map, do the mapping between the Oracle database and Entity Framework Core itself. So that you have an easy experience developing your objects on the .NET Core level and be able to use the Oracle database with that, whether you're choosing to use it from a code first perspective or from a scaffolding perspective in which you're doing the reverse engineering. So we give you a lot of options with uh, ODP.NET and 19C. Now, not only can you develop these applications from the traditional on-premise standpoint, but you can also do that from the cloud standpoint too. And not only the Oracle database cloud and the Oracle cloud, but also Microsoft Azure. So in 19C, we're giving you a ton of options. You can use Oracle Autonomous Database, Oracle Autonomous Database dedicated on Oracle's Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Or you can use Microsoft's web apps to connect to Oracle Autonomous Database. Or you can use Microsoft's Azure virtual machines to connect to Oracle Autonomous Database. So lots of different options for you as a developer to build the best applications you can. 